hello everyone it's your girl again arike so today video i'm gonna be showing you how i make this nice delicious tasty call it any name you like this spaghetti we're gonna be making it together it looks so beautiful it looks so delicious and it tastes so yummy so i'm gonna be showing you today's video how i get this nice and delicious recipe so um let's get it started and i'm gonna be showing you all everything that i had to this spaghetti so thank you for watching you can add your um cheese if you like to this spaghetti you know just it's just do it the way you like make your own way this is so delicious and you're gonna love it and please don't forget to, to subscribe to my youtube channel called life with arike please leave your comments um share and click uh, the notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you're gonna be notified straight away so let's get it started thank you today i'm gonna be showing you one by one all my ingredients or my recipe that I'm gonna be using for this um, delicious spaghetti so first of all I have my spaghetti right here I have the same spaghetti from Brilia so I'm gonna be using that today and I also have my bell peppers and my honey chopped together you can make it in a puree form it's okay so I just decided to use it um, in a chopped form today but if you choose to use it in a puree form it's okay or you can use the one that is already made in the jar from the store it's still okay too so I have my onions right here I have my bell peppers I have the green the red and the yellow frozen one but if you have the fresh one you can use you good to go you can use that too I have my scallion the green onion is frozen too if you have the fresh one too it's perfect okay so I have my um, chicken breast I've already seasoned my chicken breast. The only thing I had to this chicken breast is the um, Goya seasoning powder. I had a little bit of oil. I have my ginger powder. I had my um, salt, and I have I had a little bit of thyme. So you can use any uh, choice of your seasoning. Just put a little bit of seasoning in there. That's it. And I also have my grape um, tomato right here. I have my shrimp right here um the shrimp i season my shrimp through with a little bit of salt um black pepper um ginger powder and a little bit of oil to make all the seasoning moist together with the shrimp so and i also had a double um goya seasoning powder so and i also have my broccoli right here which we're going to be using today for this uh, recipe so we're gonna get this food started and we're gonna start cooking and you're gonna be following me uh step by step how i'm gonna make this delicious spaghetti so before i forgot we're gonna need some butter i have my butter right here and we're gonna need some cooking oil and we're gonna need some um ginger which i've already um make in this form so we're going to need this and I'll be showing you all other um, recipe that I'm going to be adding to this spaghetti later. So I have my cooking pot on the stove, which is already um, hot a little bit. So we're going to start working on our protein first. So I had my butter in my pan. I'm just going to wait for it to melt a little bit. So next, I'm going to have my shrimp. The shrimp, we don't want it too fried. We just got to do like three, three minutes on each side. That's it. We don't want it to, we don't want to overcook our shrimp. So we're just going to do like three, three minutes on each side. So the shrimp, I've been cooking for like three, three minutes. I'm just going to take it out from my cooking pot. And the next thing, I'm going to start working on my chicken breast. So I have my chicken breast. So don't forget if you need to add more butter, you can add more butter too. Or you can use some cooking oil to fry it. If you don't want to use butter, you can also use the cooking oil. So I'm gonna add some more butter and let it cook for about five to seven minutes. Then we're gonna take it out. 
So our chicken breast is ready. You see, we get some brownish color that we want. You see, I get some brownish color. That is what we want. So I'm gonna take it off from the chicken pan. And the next thing, I'm gonna start working on my veggies. So first of all, I'm gonna add my broccoli into the same part that I used for the chicken and the shrimp. So I had my broccoli. This we don't want to overcook. Just a little shallow fry. That is all we need for our broccoli. So while I had that, I'm going to add my um, bell peppers. I'm going to add it, which is already chopped. I'm going to add this one, the frozen one. So I had my bell peppers. And I'm going to add a little bit of water to it. So right here, I have my sweet chili sauce. This one is optional. All these three, they are optional. If you don't have it, it's okay. You can skip the part. You're still going to get a nice and tasty, delicious meal. So this, if you have this, it's highly recommended you can use it. But if you don't have it, it's okay. You don't have to stress yourself about that. So I'm going to add a little bit of the sweet chili, just to give a little bit sweet um, taste. That's all we need. So that's good. I'm going to add my sesame oil. You see, the sesame, sesame oil. And I'm going to add my oyster sauce a little bit it says oyster sauce and i'm gonna add my soy sauce i have the dark one if you have the light one it's fine so this one is really really dark i have to be very careful yeah that should be fine that's good it's really dark if you have the light one you can use it it's the soy sauce so we're just gonna fry this about two minutes and we're gonna take it out from our cooking pan so it's already like three minutes already you can see they produce water when you are cooking them so if you don't really want the water you can have some um, cornstarch to heat to thicken up the water because you don't want to lose the the juice but you know I'm not gonna add cornstarch this time around I'm just gonna add the juice to my spaghetti when I'm making it you can do that also so this is already cooked. I'm going to take it out and we're going to start working our, on our spaghetti. So right now I'm going to start working on, my, on our spaghetti. You see, I'm still using the same pot that I use for um, the shrimp and the veggies. So if you want to do it separate, that's fine. But you know, there's nothing wrong using the same pot. So I had my cooking oil. I'm going to show you. The pot is kind of deep inside. That's why the camera is not going... So I have about this. That's good. The next thing we're going to add our chopped bell peppers and onion. If you like, for this process, you can use a border instead of the oil. It's still okay, but you know, I love to use both when I'm cooking so that the two, the both, uh, both of them, going to give like each different, uh, different kind of flavor. So I have my chopped bell peppers and onion. Like I said, if you have the puree one, the one they already uh, ready made in the in the jar, the one they sell at the store, it's still okay. You can use it too. That's fine. It's still perfect. So I'm just gonna cook this for about um, two minutes, then I'm gonna have my seasoning. So I'm going to add my great tomato. So I have all my seasoning powder right here. So right here I have my black pepper, about a teaspoon of black pepper. I have my thyme, about a teaspoon of thyme. I have my parsley uh, flakes, I have about half teaspoon. And I, I have my cilantro, about half teaspoon. I have my um, 
paprika, about a tablespoon, and I have my no powder. But this one is the tomato one. Let me show you how they look like. I really love it, they come out so good. This is the tomato one, but it's still the same, no um, seasoning powder. So I use that. I have my ginger right here. I didn't have the powder one, so I have to use the, the fresh one. I have about um, a teaspoon of salt. I have my Goya seasoning. And I have my um, curry powder right here. All the seasoning, we're gonna put them straight in our cooking pot. And we're gonna add some water to it. So I have all the waters from my veggies. I don't wanna throw them away. The one I get from the veggies and the shrimp, I don't wanna throw them away. So I had that, it's like the broth for me. So it's really good, don't throw that in me. And I'm gonna have some water. And that is the salt for our spaghetti. So we're gonna let this cook for about five minutes. And we're gonna add our spaghetti to it. So we have our water been boiling for about five minutes. Next, I'm gonna have my spaghetti. If you really want your spaghetti so long, it's okay. You can have it very long, but for my, I don't like them too long. So I'm just gonna break them into two. But if you really want your own long, you can make it long. So I'm trying to put them little by little so that they don't get sticky together. So I had my spaghetti. I'm just gonna let it boil and cook for about 10 minutes. Then we come back and see. And don't forget, let's check the taste if we need to add anything to our sauce before the spaghetti get ready. So I'm going to check the sauce. So this is good. We don't need nothing. Everything is perfect. So I'm just going to let them cook together for about 10 minutes. And we're going to come back and add our veggies. So our spaghetti has been cooking for about um, 15 to 10 minutes. So the next thing I'm going to add all my veggies, my protein, everything going to go together with the spaghetti. So I have everything right here and they're just going to go straight into the spaghetti. And we're going to let them cook more for about um, like three more minutes because everything is done. We just want it to steam together and don't forget we still have our scallion and we still have our onion. So I'm going to add my green onion for the scallion and I'm going to add my chopped onion too so that is good and we're just going to let them steam for about three more minutes so everything has been cooked for about three more minutes and look at it they all look so good and they come out so good so if you really like this video please give it a thumbs up like share and don't forget to leave your comments and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Life with Arike, for more wonderful videos that I have on my page. Um, please like, share, like I said, comment, and you know, let me make your own and send me some pictures. Um, I will be glad to reply any comments. Thank you and have a lovely day. Thank you for watching. Bye.